Alright, so we're back at it. We're getting after the home wall build here and the next step that we're going to be working on is we're going to be prepping for this framing to be installed up on the ceiling. So what we've got started here is the ability to just slide the one end of that ceiling framing up above that 2x4 right there. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing along this edge some of these metal bracings here. Those little L brackets are going to go up on the ceiling, mainly just to hold it up there. As we've already discussed in our plans, the holding that up there is just a temporary thing. It's not actually going to be weight bearing. It's just to hold it up there while we get up the 15 degree and the 25 degree framing. And then all the weight will be coming down into the floor. So. Even though that sounds kind of janky of us just throwing something up there on the ceiling, um, it's really just to hold it up there until we can get it secured into the actual climbing surface. And those pieces will be the weight bearing pieces. So why don't you join me while we throw up some L brackets. Next dilemma I'm working through in my brain is whether or not it's safe and even possible for me to get that up there by myself with a couple different ladders and kind of jimmying it up there um, just trying to evaluate my options and see if it's even possible to do on my own or if i need another person and another ladder so that's what we're figuring out right now so my first idea did not work i didn't get the video of it unfortunately of me failing at trying to put that up there but I do have a second idea so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to use these 10 footers here which is exactly really the floor to ceiling height here and I'm just gonna screw them into two sides here and create these little legs just temporary to get that end up and then I'll use the ladder to put the other end up so I think this might work so I'm gonna give this a go Where we got to we got that up but where we need to get to we need to get that way up over there you may be a witness of greatness or a witness of big accident so let's see what we can do here Almost lost it. Try to get it back when I realized it was wedged in wrong. All right, so if there's a lesson to be learned there, and that is don't have an ego about trying to do it, just ask for help in the first place. So this will have to be another day's project. Thanks for joining me. For some laughs hopefully at least but we got a little progress and we will continue on when we have some help i forgot to pull out the camera for this next ordeal probably worked out in your best interest i asked my wife to help out and she wasn't super keen on it but she did anyways and what i really needed was i needed an extra ladder which i borrowed here from a neighbor and we got it up so as you can see we got that up inside there as I was mentioning before and then her job my wife's job was to just slide that in there and then we were able to get that up there and mount it and remember this is just this is just up there so that I can get the 
a frame connected to it and have all the weight pulled down into it. The framing is definitely strong enough uh, for the needs that I have. It's just not um, it's not weight bearing from the ceiling. I'm not connecting any anchoring to the ceiling that I that I expect to bear weights. So all the weights are going to come down in through the A-frame into the floor. So like a, like a ladder. Hey, perfect analogy. Like a ladder. In this ladder analogy, it's an A-frame. What we just did on the ceiling was this piece up here, just this connection piece. So it's just got to be held up there because I don't want to have to hold two walls up at the same time. All right, it's a little bit dark in here right now because I am I have the garage door closed. It's uh, evening time. But I'm doing one little more one more small project here real quick. What I'm doing is I'm installing this switch here. So this is a remote switch. I just plug it into an outlet and then anything plugged into it is going to be controlled by a switch, just a kind of a wireless switch over there. So I am taking this power strip here and I'm just going to attach it to the side of the wood up here. So this is going to be used for some additional lighting and some fans, I believe, as well. So here we go. switch. Moment of truth. Nice. Now anything I plug into that power strip will be controlled by that switch. We'll add a lot more lighting in here and in the summer months some cooling so that'll be great.